here we have a 2006 Honda Ridgeline uh, with a bad power steering pump. The pump looks like this. It's mounted in this direction. And this pump is same as, well, similar, not same part number, as Honda Pilot and Acura MDX. Um, for tools, we will be using a 10 millimeter to remove this and uh, that ground right there, a 12 millimeter to remove the uh, studs that holding the power steering pump to the engine, a 14 millimeter to um, loosen the tensioner pulley to remove the serpentine belt and a 19 millimeter to loosen the actual pulley from the pump. I'll be doing everything in normal speed so you can see all the steps. Again, the to total, all the tools I'll be using are a breaker bar for the tensioner pulley and the actual pulley. Tensioner pulley is 14 millimeter, there's a 19 millimeter. A screwdriver just to give me some leverage to pry open that loosen that bolt uh, small ratchet to tighten everything out I'm gonna use a, a small impact to loosen this because I'm lazy and everything should be torqued to spec which I'm not gonna care about I'll use a, a needle nose plier to loosen that uh, clip on the hose because I have to remove this plastic and plastic uh, hose and switch it over and uh, one of those pick to replace the o-ring. Uh, for the o-rings I will be using that size 7 16 is uh, a little bit fatter than it should be but it creates a better seal. Um, also from factory I think it comes with this size 14 millimeter. I'll be using this one which is a lot wider and that was my original problem. I used to have uh, air leaking into it when I use just a factory o-ring. Um, you can use a factory o-ring but that's what I'll be using. So let's see. I'll be using that one on the plastic housing and instead of this one I will be using that one on the top area right there. And I will show you a little clip of the actual noise I was hearing. Uh, keep in mind, most of the time that noise is coming from um, the O-ring itself. But in this case, the pump is bad. So I'll show the steps for um, replacing the pump. Also, when I take this off, I'm not going to do it this time. Uh, I usually check the timing belt because that cover is easily accessible. I will also uh, add that video on here so you can see. All right, let's get started. I started off with uh, taking the cover off. Uh, that's easy to do, just remove two clips and just pull it up and uh, let's go from there. I will start with removing the ground stud so I have room to work with. It's in here. All right, I dropped that. I'm gonna spend some time looking for it. Hopefully I can find it. All right, I can see it from the top. So use the magnet stick to there we go. Time to loosen the pulley.
I'll just use a rag, uh, put it underneath so all the oil doesn't go on the pulley and the belt. Now remove the clip, just get it out of the way. Now remove the top hose. Make sure the slide right out. Just get that out of the way. I'll remove this. So, as I mentioned, I used a wider O-ring. As you can see, it's damaged. This is not a good idea, but um, the, one of the reasons I'm replacing this now is because, because of this. So, I'll be installing a new one, but that one I'm going to heat up, make it really soft, and hopefully it'll slide in. But my goal is to get it get it as wide as possible and uh, not have it ripped so I, it has a good seal on it. That's the 19 mil. One thing to remember, pay attention to the pulley when you're pulling it out. The flat surface goes outside. The part that sticks out with the spline in it goes on the inside. So this will go in that way. All right, now it's removed. So I'm gonna hold this so it doesn't leak any fluid in there. So now I'm going to remove that, switch it over to the new pump and mount everything back on there. Uh, so do everything in reverse. Actually, I'm going to keep uh, recording so you can stay and watch me install it. It's just It'll take a little bit longer, obviously. Now I have this switched over to the new pump. Uh, I'm going to remove this plug. I forgot to do that. Actually, I'll do it later. Change my mind. I'll do it now. Okay, let's install this. 
like I said, everything goes in reverse. First put those two 12 millimeter on. Now, I will put the pulley in. Like I mentioned before, this step you should be um, using a torque wrench, but I'm not going to. Now I will install the belt. So let's put this one on there. One thing I want to point out in case you never worked with this um, serpentine belt of, or any of them, never put your finger inside like that. That's not a good idea. Always keep it outside, hold it from outside. Just watch my hand. See, never goes inside and stays outside and make sure the pulley is sitting in the right location. If it's not, then it will want to jump out. Now I'll put the 10 millimeter back on for the ground. I think that's the ground. Forget to put the clip in the right location. Now you should make sure you have enough fluid, uh, empty it out, do a flush. All the good stuff. I'm not going to do any of that because I did that recently. Um, also, I'm not going to. I push the camera. I'm not going to show you uh, putting the oversized wording in there because it will be time consuming because I have to warm it up, soften it, and all that. But all you have to do now is replace the wording, put it in there, and you're done. I got it installed. I don't know if I crushed the O-ring or not. I'm about to find out. I'm gonna start the car. The engine is a lot quieter, and I just checked the power steering warning. So that worked out pretty well. I think it still has a little bit of air in the system, so it will go away. Well. 